Okay guys, and we're back, and um, the Moors are attacking me with a lot of siege weapons, so we're going to go straight into this, and hopefully we're going to win. <coughs> if you haven't noticed already, my cold has gotten worse since the last episode. Oh, I feel like shit right now. But I enjoy playing games, so I'm going to keep doing this for you guys. I wonder what the castle's like actually in this battle. I'm hoping it's one I'm thinking of. Yes, it is. Excellent. I quite, I quite like this uh, setup. And I'll show you why now. I'm going to put my guys here. Here's some archers. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same for my Huskars with the bigger archers and <coughs> everyone's going to stay where they are and basically I'm just going to fast forward until the moors actually come and attack me after using up all their siege equipment and the reason why I'm keeping my guys back here is because their siege equipment in, because there's no sort of not really anything to block their um, the siege weapons the with Fight apart on. from the wall the so any stuff like that as you just saw the boulder flew through the wall that could have hit one of my guys and I would have lost casualties and You'll be surprised how badly that hurts. And it looks like they're on the move. So, rather early on as well, actually, I have to admit. So I'm going to quickly march my axemen over into position. The archers ready in wait behind them. Same with my Huskars. And fast forward this bit again so that everyone's in position. There we go. They're still attacking me with their siege equipment at the moment though. With their ballot with their catapults and ballistas. It's quite surprising actually. I thought they were just gonna come marching straight in. The enemy are battering down the gates. Yeah, the sooner they get through it, the better. <coughs> I don't like waiting. The enemy's ram is through our gates. Okay. So. Let's get my archers to start shooting. The enemy have taken them. The walls have fallen. They're still Steel attacking my wall. Valiant hearts must be. Our men are under attack. We need to act. I'm actually going to put my these axemen at the back there into a position over here, ready to hit the flanks. Because it looks like I'm going to need some help, so I'm going to send my guys in now. It's a shame I don't have any spearmen. I need spearmen for this battle. In reality. They're just slicing through my guys. Right, these archers are going to shoot from an angle over here and hit these guys from the sides. Hopefully. Got loads of arrows flying everywhere, but I don't think this is going to slow them down at all. I'm going to have to bring in my general, start flanking some units, try and get them to route as quickly as possible, so I can use all available units to plug up this gap here. Oh, 
this is not going well. <laughs> I've only wiped out 16% of the enemy army as well. Guys, got to hold this position. Actually, I'll take my cavalry back because I don't need them there. Archers are doing a pretty good job actually. <laughs> These axemen are doing okay as well. I do like the looks of the spearmen in for the sort of Arab countries. They're pretty cool looking spearmen. Particularly when they have that armor upgrades as well. Sound the horn for a bit of a morale boost. The bodyguard is down to 19, so I've been taking out quite a lot of them. And there's the general right here. Doing, causing them a lot of casualties. I'm holding them off okay, I suppose. are doing really well over on this side. <laughs> Gonna need to bring my cavalry down here I think. <laughs> Use them to take out these crossbows. Excuse me. Oh, one of my axemen's running. It's over here. Archers. They've seen my attempt at moving my cavalry around and they're using their spearmen to block me. Clever computer. These archers can be used in melee, so I'm going to bring them around to this side. Take out those spearmen. Send these axemen down here because they need to block off those um, spearmen that are coming up there. 
on 50-50 at the moment, Lord and they have more men than I did. Half of our men. With all haste. Send them in against those uh, spearmen over there. Bodyguards down to one. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. So hopefully we'll use my archers to take them out. Excellent, I've got spare axemen now. So my men just need to hold on just a little bit longer. Oh, the general's charging into me. Oh, come on, you didn't really take out all those guys. That's stupid. Come on. And this general's taking a lot of Punishment. There we go. Our men have slain <coughs> the Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Right now, everyone's going to charge in, including my cavalry. Excuse me. Enemy General Fallen Mahub Scar. Okay, so all they got left are their artillery units at the back here. Bring all my units back to the town centre. Use my cavalry to mop up the rest of the enemy. One more spearman. There we go. So let's just have a quick look at the uh, damage caused over here. Lots of damage. And over on this flank, even more. Can't believe that one general took out all my guys there. Oh well. Cavalry down to the front. Hope I'm able to take these guys out quickly. Good thing my cavalry can move quickly. 